All right, y'all. It's your boy back in the corner once again, bringing you a... <gasps> What's that? A double feature, baby. Yeah, we're gonna look at both of these guys, cause or ladies, excuse me. We're gonna look at both of these ladies today. We got um, Bo-Katan and Casca Reeves. I don't know how to say that, cries? Bo-Katan cries, and uh, she's a crier, huh? She's a badass. But yeah, they're pretty much the same figure, so we're just gonna look at both of them together. So let's just get right into it, baby. A gifted warrior, Bo-Katan cries the legendary Mandalorian. She refused to align with the Empire's occupation of Mandalore. Nice. A master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, Koska Reeves is loyal to Bo-Katan and is a member of a band of the clan cries Mandalorians, striking back at the Imperial Remnant. All right, sounds tight. Let's get into the figures. Here are the, Im the box images side by side. We'll do the same thing over here. Oh, this match might look better like that. Side to side. Pretty cool. I actually kind of like the, the box art on these, the new Black Series stuff. I like how what they're doing with the, like the kind of like almost Marvel Legend boxes. But yeah, let's, let's open By the way, if you're gonna open these boxes and you wanna keep them, I would suggest open it from the top because I tried opening it from the side and I completely demolished the side trying to pull it out even though it's like, it's taped, I untaped it all, but yeah, I would pull it from the top and then you just slide it right out and the box stays in pretty good shape in case you wanted to keep the box. That's how I suggest you would open this one at least. So, all right, you know how we do, we do the accessories first. So we're gonna look at the Costco Reeves accessories. She comes with a jetpack. They both come with a jetpack, but this one's, you know, more gray than it is blue. Looking pretty solid, it's got the little, um, I don't know if that's a rocket or not, like the Boba Fett one, but yeah, looking pretty good. A little peg over the back. Nice little detail on that. Not really any paint detail, more of just like the sculpting is what you get. A little bit of shiny metal look, but not really. Then, get the helmet, of course. The helmet comes, I just, you know, I like to show them without the helmet because, well, when I show off the figure, so you can see the head sculpt, but yeah. A little bit of detail, paint detail right there. It's a little scuff, scratched up different paint right there in the cheek a little darker blue looking pretty good this is also articulate you bring that down if you wanted to i don't know how far you would want to rotate it probably not all the way down but yeah like that far so that's pretty cool and then they both come with these little blasters both of them come with the same exact two guns nothing really too crazy about these mandalorian pistolas oh shit it's okay we'll just look at one right now so yeah you get a I have a total of four of these now. Not too bad. They look cool, I guess. I mean, little pistol. You just little double pistol. And then Focus Tan comes with her jetpack, or I'm sorry, her jetpack, which is a different color. Let's compare and contrast. So this one's actually a little bit more, got a more shiny, um, actual metal paint to it. I don't know if you can see the difference. Like when I, sh it's like shimmery. Got the blue in there, blue right here on top. Pretty much the same sculpt, but just different details here and there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then Polka Tan's helmet. A little different. It's got like the actual um, like war paint or whatever you want. Tribal paint from her clan or whatever. Same thing with the antenna. The antenna looks pretty good. I don't think I mentioned that. Like all these little tiny lines in there. Sculpted details. He's even got like a little line that goes all the way up on this part. And like the little dots up here, so it's like pretty good detail on these little antennas. Well, let's look at both the helmets together. Pretty much the exact same sculpt as, you know, both of them have the. Or actually, maybe not, because look at this one's a little different on the back right there. That's interesting. And on the sides, a little bit different. Hers has like this extra piece right here that this one doesn't have, so that's cool. They're not completely the same, so. Let's get into the actual figure. All right, and here are our ladies out of the packaging, and we're gonna go ahead and look at Eeny Meeny Money Mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If you had to let him go, Eeny Meeny Money Mo. All right, we're gonna look at Costco first. Oh uh, yeah, they're pretty much the exact like same sculpt and everything. There might be a little bit of difference here and there. Like I think the only difference I can spot offhand is she has a double. Her gun can hold two guns. It's like a, oh my God. She's got two holsters basically. And this, she's only got one. So that's different. Um, let me, yeah, we'll go ahead and look at her first. So we already looked at the helmet. So we'll take that off and look at the head sculpt on her. I don't know the actress's name, but 
uh it kind of doesn't look exactly like her i remember her being a little more having more of like a um small like a skinnier face i could be wrong it's been a minute since i've seen the show it's been like over a year but yeah the detail on this this bed this this girl is uh beautiful i like all the all the actual like sculpting in the in the fabrics here it's like a lot of actual fabric looking things going on great the armor Yeah, sorry, I'm not trying to talk too much. There's hella people around my room, so it's kind of awkward. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty solid. The paint on her, like, battle damage. Like, it's all scuffed up on her chest plate, on her shoulder pad as well. Her insignia for her clan. Uchiha clan. Alright, we're gonna put her to the side now. Let's put her helmet back on. Bam, now she's ready to target you. Pew, 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 pew. Right, let's get let's look at I and Bo-Katan the only reason why I got both of them was because of her I saw her at Target and I was like oh shit I gotta get both of them because why wouldn't you let's go ahead and take off the helmet and this looks like this looks like the actress I don't know her name either but this looks pretty spot on I remember she was in the Clone Wars actually so it's kind of weird to see her live action role kind of crazy to me when I first saw it but yeah her armor is a little bit different in a couple different ways it's just painted differently she's got like a silver chest plate instead of the blue it looks like um this right here is blue on the other figure as well she's got a little more battle damage on her uh knees and shins the boots are pretty much exactly the same the detail in here is all exactly the same it's like the pretty much the exact same figure but like i said just this one little thing right here is different and the paint overall is different her insignia is right here, her clan tag, more battle damage up here. Yeah, looking pretty solid, honestly. Let me see, let's stand up right next to each other so we can see the differences. Yeah, see, she's like, uh oh. These guys are cool though, like. She's definitely, it looks like she's been through it a lot more than her, but I mean, I. Yeah, yeah they've been through it together. Been homies for years. I'm trying to see if they did the exact same paint things kind of looks like they almost did like in the exact same areas but her is just a little bit more than this one i don't know okay let's get into the articulation since they're the same figure i'll only do one of them i mean not the same figure but since they have pretty much the same mold and everything i think their helmet will be weird and we'll do the same thing so looks up about that far try to keep the chin in check there looks down pretty decent oh well, i know it has like a neck joint it has like that weird neck joint where they can move the neck around and stuff but that doesn't really help um elbows go up not far no um rotation at the wrist single jointed elbows which blows my mind that they still do that for the female characters rotates right here like that and then also at the wrist we got rotation here looks like the wrists go down they have the gun pivot like that so that's cool I think they're both like that or yeah they're both like that on both sides so yep ab crunch not the best and it goes back kind of far goes forward about not really too much legs go out decent they go out that far go out not too far on the that way i don't know what you call that they have the thigh cut right there well that's a weird little fly i didn't even notice that okay and then i have double jointed oh no single jointed knees i'm tripping here i thought that was a double joint there it looks deceiving yeah that's crazy it's only single jointed so that's why i didn't know that it rotates right there at the knee just like that no calf rotation and the boots go up so much they go down pretty far and then we got the angle pivot let me look at this one real quick. I didn't even notice. Yeah, see? I didn't even notice these weird little side thigh pieces. Yeah, the knee is pretty good. Cool. But yeah, that's the articulation. Let me see if there's any difference in hers. Not really. She's like exactly the same. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to some size comparison real quick. I just realized I didn't even notice. I got like this weird extra flap of plastic right here. I'm going to cut it off right now, but... Yeah, I didn't notice that before, so that was kind of freak, freaking me out. So, yeah, I did notice it right now. It's, like, weirdly just, like, one little piece of plastic just hanging out from, like, the, the hinge or whatever you want to call it. 
Here, I'm gonna cut that off right now. Yeah, I just busted out all my Mandalorian figures I have. That are Mandalorian, not like from the show or anything, because, you know, obviously that one's not and that one's not. But yeah, let's see. These guys stand at about. Let's go ahead. Be really careful. Looking exactly at six inches with the antenna, so that's not too bad. A little on the shorter side for uh, you know a six inch figure, literally six inches. But yeah, they look pretty cool in scale. I'm gonna just kind of break them away in a second just so I can see what they look like. Well, just for the record, the blue, the blue squad. That's what I'm gonna call them from now on. Blue squad, led by their leader, Gray Man. Right? Or I don't know. And then here's her holding the baby Yoda, the, the child. Grugo, whatever you want to call him, Grogu. That is, that is a Black Series um, figure, by the way. Hello Tiny. My first unboxing video I ever did was Baby Yoda as a joke. And then we have good old Los Dos Hermanos, uh, Breaking Bad bad guy. I honestly forget his name, but yeah. Just standing here right next to them, just checking it out. You know, they were in the Clone Wars. I believe there is an episode of the Clone Wars where they interact with each other, because I think Obi-Wan was like in love with her sister. I could be totally wrong with that, but I do believe that's what happened. So, you know, just checking them out. Like, if you want to get a Clone Wars thing going, you can. Because, I mean, they were in the Clone Wars, so. Bada blini. Just bringing out Anakin. I don't know, know really why, but, you know, more Clone Wars stuff. Just wanted to see what they look like next to all these characters. The last size comparison I want to do is next to a Stormtrooper. Because, you know, they be beating up Stormtroopers in the Mandalorian show. Just wanted to see what they look like next to each other. Get his ass kicked. Like, what's up? What the that's how it goes. That's exactly how it is in the, the show, I swear. And then just because, you know, he's in like one episode, Luke Skywalker, you know, just gotta get, gotta look at all of them together, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what you want to do, what kind of pictures you're going to want to take. And, you know, you just got to check it all out no matter what. Just see what's in scale. You feel me? But yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I, I, I love these guys. Or these women, I'm sorry. Women. As far as rating goes, I forgot to rate it, so I'm gonna do it right now. I'll give them a solid, I'll give them a solid seven out of 10. I, I don't like their single jointed knees, that's ass. Um, and I don't like how they're pretty much exactly the same. Like, I mean, yeah, I guess their armors are the same in the show, but come on, come on. It's like the exact same thing, let's be honest. It's just a different paint job and like one, one gun holster more. So could have done a little bit more. I also on this figure, it's like loose so that sucks but yeah seven out of ten all right y'all that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching um you know how we do um check out the instagram if you haven't checked it out it's the same name as my um um my account on youtube it's the nintendo um check it out i post pictures almost every day just like of just you know not acba exactly but you know just some just some posing and stuff outside, you know, wilderness kind of po photos if that interests you. But other than that, uh, you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. And I love you all. Oh, peace. Women. Am I right? I was trying to get all these figures for a comparison sound. And I like knocked down a whole bunch of figures. I was pretty devastated. I gotta fix them all now. Oh, look, oh.